to take you up to Flagstaff where we are going to see some snow by the end of the week. Now, uh, during these March systems, it's hard to get very, very cold. And then we also kind of get some melting that goes on. So I think we'll put a little snow down, uh, maybe see a little bit of melting and put a little bit more down. So it's not going to be like, uh, you know, two feet of snow. That's pretty tough to do in March. 29 degrees currently up in Flagstaff in Coconino County. Here's downtown Phoenix, 58. Feeling pretty decent, maybe a little chillier this morning compared to yesterday morning when we had abundant cloud cover that kind of helps insulate us at night. 30s in Payson, Sholo, 30s in Winslow, 46 in Kingman, 33 in Prescott. We're seeing 40s and 50s this morning, so a light jacket's a good idea. As you step out the door, you don't need anything too heavy, though, for yourself or the kids because we will climb to 80 degrees later on today. We got a breeze going on in Sholo, Flagstaff, also a bit of a breeze, adding a bite to those chilly morning temperatures. Getting into this afternoon, we will be dealing with gusty conditions uh, for northern Arizona, and that's going to be the story for Wednesday as well. Pretty gusty conditions as we uh, make our way through the next couple of days. Uh, the wind this afternoon in the valley, it'll be breezy, <clears throat> nothing too intense. It's not going to be a damaging wind. Uh, as far as uh, Thursday goes, that's when we're also going to see some gusty conditions in the valley as our storm system approaches. We're clear out there right now, a few clouds here and there, but that is it. System still hanging out over the Pacific Northwest. You see this kind of dip in the jet stream. That's the system that's heading our way. It's going to scoop up some of the moisture. You see the purple and pink colors. That's water vapor indicating moisture. So clouds for today, maybe a couple of showers right on the Arizona Utah border, but for the most part, we are dry. Wednesday, that's when we'll start to see some rain, maybe even a thunderstorm in the mountains and some high elevation snow, mainly above 7,000 feet. This is Wednesday, 4 o'clock. Thursday, we'll see another round of snow. This is Thursday, 5 o'clock. Uh, seeing those snow levels dip a little bit, getting into the uh, 6,000 or foot range. Maybe some rain in Phoenix. We'll watch out for a thunderstorm as well for Thursday. Friday, Another chance for some uh, rain and storms too. This is Thursday, 10 o'clock, and we're still seeing that snow. How much snow could we see? Well, these numbers are going to change a little bit, <clears throat> but by the time, and I want to take this all the way to Saturday, we could be dealing with five or so inches in Flagstaff, maybe some in Sedona, Prescott picking up a little bit. Maybe uh, we get some of the snow levels down a bit by Friday into Saturday morning down to the Payson level, so could see a dusting or an inch. Hebrew regard, that might be a little high in the seven inch mark, but uh, definitely snow returning to the high country for late Wednesday through Saturday morning. So please keep that in mind. We will see some slick roads, maybe reduce visibility as well. 16 Payson, 53 Flagstaff, 64 in Kingman. Temperatures are going to crash in a big way. 53 today in Flagstaff, down to 43 with rain on Wednesday, down to 36 on Thursday with snow. Payson, 60 today, 54 Wednesday with a chance for storms. Thursday, 46 with a chance for some rain and maybe some snow smuggled in there as well. So definitely uh, changes ahead. Today, 80 degrees in Phoenix, 78 Wednesday, and then we're going to fall to the upper 60s on Thursday. So Thursday is going to be kind of a blustery day with breezy conditions, cooler temperatures and that rain chance. Friday, 70 degrees with a chance for some rain. And uh, luckily, we're going to get most of this out of your way uh, before the weekend. So the weekend looks good, 72. Saturday and then 78 on Sunday, the St. Patrick's Day yeah. uh, parade in Phoenix. That's one of the uh, bigger ones in the country. Really? We get a lot of folks at that St. Patty's Day uh, parade. I don't know if it's okay. all the Chicagoans we have. I was going to say, it must be. Yeah, I think it's the Chicagoans. Uh... <laughs> They're going to turn Tempe Town like green? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it already is. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that. The algae. <laughs> thank Ian, you. thank you.